Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome to this week's edition of the Deck of the Week. This week's deck is a black-red sacrificial aggro deck sent to me by Anzu1234. Starting in with the list, we have four Dragon Skull Summits, four Black Cleave Cliffs, three Lava Claw Reaches, nine Swamps, and then three Black Fetches, either being Burning Catacombs or Marsh Flats. Then for the spells, there are four Mark of Mutiny, four Act of Treason, four Arc Trail, three Inquisition of Kozilek, and three Calling Dias. For the creatures in the deck, we have four Bizarre Traders, four Vizier Seers, four Mortician Beetles, four Blood Throne Vampires, and three Abyssal Persecutors. And then there was no sideboard sent to me with this deck. Starting off, I'd like to say I think it's a fairly interesting concept. I like the idea of taking your opponent's creatures and then using them for your own good and then sacrificing them when you're done with them. Uh, in order to do that, there are cards like Mark of Mutiny and Act of Treason that will let you take their creatures and give them haste to attack with. And then you can use cards like Pulling Dias or the Seer Seer and also Blood Throne Vampires. My first suggestion for improvements for the deck is to remove the Bizarre Traders. I'm not exactly sure why they are in there, except for if you want to swap the Abyssal Persecutor. However, you have enough stuff in the deck to sacrifice things that you'll just be able to sacrifice the Persecutor on your side once you're ready to win the game, so I don't think that'll be a problem. It's possible that the deck creator thought that the Bizarre Trader would allow you to take the opponent's creatures, however that isn't the case so I don't think he will be sufficient for the use of the deck. In his place, however, I would like or suggest to put in three Mimic Vats, for three of his positions at least. And what this does is it gives you additional creatures that you can use to sacrifice with your cards each turn. And then on top of that, it's just going to give you all kinds of great creatures that you can use to do damage to your opponents. So not only will you be taking the creatures from your opponents, but then once you sacrifice them, you'll be able to imprint them and then keep giving them the beating. And then on top of that, I would also recommend adding Grave Titans into the main board. I know you could add one in place of the Bizarre Traders, but I'd like to probably get a second one in there. And what this does is, along with the Mimic Vat, then if you get a Grave Titan into play every turn with haste, then you're going to be getting four zombies. And that in itself is pretty powerful getting a 6-6 Death Toucher that's going to attack every turn with four zombies, but also the fact that it gives you creatures that you'll be able to sacrifice to your other creatures over and over again, so you'll have an unlimited supply to do that, which means that your Mortician Beetles are going to get really big, your Blood Throne Vampires can get plus 8 each turn for the other zombies if you actually would like them to, and there's just lots of cool things you can do with that. So those are some additions that I would add into the deck. Since there is no sideboard for this deck, that is something that would have to be created. But I will leave that up to you guys in the comments to tell us what you think should be put in the sideboard to help this deck fare better against specific matches. So that is my opinions and views for this deck of the week. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.